Okay, so I'll just start off by saying my name's Tom, obviously, and I'm a reptile handler from Australia. So my job is a venomous snake handler. I also work with a company called Reptile Kingdom Australia. Um, so we do venomous snake handling shows. We go around to communities and teach people about reptiles. Um, and also, one of my hobbies, obviously, is collecting reptiles, which is why I started this page. So um, we own over 500 reptiles, crocodiles, lizards, monitors, geckos, venomous snakes, non-venomous snakes, pretty much every reptile you can imagine in Australia we hold. Um, and I'm trying to build up my collection at home. So I just thought I'd start this page, um, obviously to go through a few reptiles I own and also reptiles all around Australia. So um, just to give a bit of awareness to people about what reptiles do to the, in this world, what purpose they have in this world. Um, Cause every snake does have a purpose in this world that not many people know about. So. Um, I'll start off the first episode with obviously, not obviously, sorry, I was the first time I'd done it, so a bit camera shy, um, with the number five venomous, top five venomous snake in the world, this is number five, so this is a death adder, um, so he's just sitting down there on his bark, he's okay, so it's a her actually, so her name's Puffy, so she's four years old, um, she's number five in the world, uh, she's number one in the world for the fastest strike, so this snake can strike at over 300 k's, so this is why we don't tail him, we use our trusty hook. So I'll give you a close-up view of her. Uh, I need two hooks, just, just to make it easier for her. There you go. All right. Oh, sorry. So go like that. So as you can see, this is our beautiful death adder. So this is Puffy. So I go this way, Puffy. There you go. So they're number five in the world, these guys, and number one in the world for striking speeds. So they can hit a prey at over 300 k's. So it obviously is a really hard hitting. So their name uh, originated from, or in the olden days, so about 60 years ago, they didn't have anti-venom for this, this kind of snake. So if this snake actually bit you, it was certain death, which is why it got the name the death adder. So there's all types of death adders. This is just a normal death adder over in Australia. There's not really cool patterns. I will be getting some different ones. But she's very cool. So she's four years old, still got a bit of growing to do. So one of my lizards is scratching in the background. You can see her coming down the stick here. So I'll just get a better grip on her. So as I said, the number one rule with us, or we, we made this rule, I know people do free handle them, is you don't free handle the death adder because you don't know when they're gonna strike and they can hit you about four times before you even know about it. So in a head like that, it's got a lot of venom to inject. So it's a big buff head. So they're actually, they're not quick movers, these guys. They're very slow and um, not, yeah, just not quick, but their strikes are insane. So they use their body as camouflage, which is how they get their prey. Uh, they like to lay in litter of leaves and they camouflage really well in their environment. So they just adjust to where they're living. And then at the end of their tail, it actually wiggles like a worm. So it's a bit of a lure. So they try to lure a prey in to hunt them down and kill them. And it's a bit of a defense mechanism as well. So if I walk past her enclosure and she doesn't like me being there, she'll actually start wiggling her tail as if to go leave me alone. So they're actually a really smart snake, these, these guys. And she's very beautiful. She doesn't really strike too much. As you can see, she just loves to sit on the hook. She likes getting out and about. But yeah, number five in the world. So this is a good way to start, I guess. Um, I've got number two in the world, a little Eastern Brown, which will be on another episode. But I thought I'd start with the venomous ones. I've also got a lot of pythons, lizards, and all other types of stuff. I've also got a monitor here and everything like that. So as you can see, she just sits on one hook. She's pretty cool, very easy to handle. She just likes to go back home. So if you don't have any questions, just shoot me a message. Um, I'll try to answer them as quick as I can, but yeah, I'll leave you guys to it. She's climbing up the sticks, so I better put it back home. Thanks, guys.